Hey everybody, Zetalonix with a basic tutorial for you guys today, just to kind of get it on my profile since not everybody knows it, but it's commonly known. Basically, I'm just going to go over a few aspects of the screen shake. So you import your media. Um, mine's a triple kill headshot I got in Team Snipers. Just something that I got that I thought I'd capture for a tutorial that I was going to be making eventually. And now it's being used. So you click on event pan slash crop and pay attention to the top right over here. And you can kind of see it. it zooms in and then it shakes. And restore it. That's the basic idea of what's happening with a screen shake. So you find where you want your to start the screen shake. A little bit before So I wanna start about here I guess. Well create keyframe here and then move forward it's like right here and that will be the zooming in and that's when you can give it a little bit of a shake you see so that's the beginning and click a little bit down and this will be your next keyframe you can move it even in some and then give it a nice other shake click your next keyframe move it out some oh that was a bad idea oh. and this is the basic aspect to the screen shake and then right here obviously we want to restore it I guess that's kind of the effect I guess I was looking for and then you can close out of this and you can go back some and take a look. See if it was what you liked. So, pay attention to the top right. We get our screen shake going. And you get the triple kill. And it zooms out with the camera. So, that was the first type of screen shake I'll show you. Um, now, if we just drag this onto a new layer. We want to delete one of these audio tracks because two audio tracks will actually have a bad idea, huh? Um, let's just delete this and get rid of these tracks. I have a bad idea. What if I just copy it, insert video track, paste, move it back, delete the audio track. Um, the, you can go to event pan slash crop and just delete all these keyframes. That way we have a, a regular copy and we have a nom, an edited copy. I don't know why it won't let me select all these keyframes. It's starting to bug me a little bit. Huh. Alright. So now this is an... Oh, my bad. You have to then right click in the center and restore the clip. Just click restore and that'll set this back to normal but since this is above it you aren't going to notice that now what you can do is you can lower the opacity of this clip you can make it full and you can make it really low and then here's what you're going to get now it brings up a whole another effect see um... you can kind of see around this area and then it fades back to normal that's another commonly used effect that's one of my favorites as well and then you can what else you could do is you would duplicate actually I'll just show you guys so we copy this layer and then insert a video track and paste it you can even then you lower the opacity even further 
go 25 because this one what's this one at this one's at about 44 ish first keyframe move forward and you can make this one super intense now that's a bit too much of a shake though I kinda like that and something you can also do is restore it this is another one you restore it and then make it go back to insane And then you click forward, back some though, or, and then restore it. Okay. Now what you have here let's go back even more though. See, so you have three different layers now. Um, and you can look at this. This is the, this is this layer. You have this layer. And then you have your own solid layer. And this is what's happening, you see. Gives it a very trippy looking effect too. And they all come out to normal. So that's basically the second kind of screen shake that you could do. Actually, that's actually the third. The default one, the one with just two and then three. And you could continue to add more layers until it fits your desire. You could even add video effects to them. I mean, I don't know if I would suggest this or not. But you could blur one maybe. Watch. Soften to this one. Now this is on top, so it might be a not so great idea. But you would have to cut this top clip so that it's only while it's playing but you know I don't know you can mess around with this effect I guess right well all you'd have to actually do is keyframe it so watch let's take a look shall we oh, I hate when I do that that's an annoying thing to do watch, let's go back a little bit Alright. Right now we want it to be reset to none. And then you move forward. And we can kind of make it like the other one. Watch Extreme Blur. Move forward. Reset to none. So it kind of has that same effect going. Yellow glow. Move forward. Reset to none. And leave it. That's just a, this is kind of like the fourth thing you could do, adding video effects to it. So if you watch in the top right, it kind of blurs in, blurs out, and then they all go back to normal really quickly for the triple kill. So just when you're in Vegas, have fun with what you're doing. You know, mess around. You know, add glows to stuff, invert it. I don't know. Just mess around that's really what Vegas is about so that's the basics to a screen shake and a few other effects that can be associated with the screen shake if you have any further questions or curiosities about the screen shake I guess just send me a message I'll feel f I'll be glad to reply sorry stumbling over my own words now so if you need anything, just send me a private message, post a comment, and feel free to post video responses with what you've created prior to this tutorial. So, I hope this tutorial helped you, and you learned what you were looking to learn, and maybe it'll inspire you to look at all my other tutorials I have posted. So, this was Zeta Lonics, and I'm heading out.